Hello, today I'm going to be talking about how to remove annoying add-ons and extensions and plugins in Safari. Now, this kind of uh, annoying add-on, often called adware, can be introduced onto your computer through several different methods, the most common of which is when you download a program and go to install it, they'll slip something in there in the installation to get it on your computer, and if you're not careful, you will download it without even knowing it was there. So for example, Java is now doing it. So here I downloaded the Java plugin and I go to install it and type in my password. And so you're going through the installer and boom, right there, they have, they're introducing something onto your computer that you may or may not want. And this is how adware oftentimes gets downloaded to your computer is by leaving something like this checked. You do not need, in this case, a Yahoo homepage to be able to use Java, but they make you think that you do. You can uncheck that and click next. Now that is the same with any kind of download. Be aware of adware like that, trying to download something onto your computer that you don't necessarily want. So the first thing that we'll do is open up Safari and take a look at our list of extensions that we have installed. If you go up to Safari at the top left and then go to preferences, go to the extensions tab, I'm already there. And here you have a list of all the extensions you have installed for Safari on your computer. In this case, I have two extensions. Uh, this check means that it is currently enabled and this one is disabled as you can see. So you can toggle whether it's enabled or disabled and you can uninstall right from here. So this is the easiest way to remove an extension um, and oftentimes we'll get the job done. There are other ways though that extensions and plugins can be added to your computer that are more annoying and more difficult to get rid of. Um, so to do that, we'll open up Finder and then go up to Go at the top left corner of the screen, hold down Option or the Alt key on your, on your keyboard and you'll see Library suddenly appears. Go ahead and open up that. This is your user library and in your user library, go down to launch agents and you'll have some files in here. So when looking through the list of what is in your launch agents folder, look for the name of whatever plugin or extension you're trying to get rid of. And if it's in there, great, you can go ahead and just get rid of it, throw it in the trash. If there's one that you're not sure about, uh, never just delete these. Always make a copy of it. So for example, select one, go to edit, copy item, and then just paste it on the desktop. So then you have a copy here. Then you can move it to the trash and restart your computer. And if something goes wrong with your computer after you restart, you always have this backup plist file here that you can re-add. So it's a backup. Um, and I recommend doing that whenever you're deleting things from your library folders, you always want to have a backup just in case you actually needed that file. So launch agents is a common place. Another place to look at is um, uh, where's internet plugins. So this, mine is empty, but sometimes you'll have some files in here as well, internet plugins. And so be aware of what's in there. Look and see if your culprit isn't there. After doing that, you'll also want to look in your system library folder because things can get installed in there as well. So you want to go up to go again and this time go to computer and click on your hard drive. By default, it's called Macintosh HD. And then we'll click on the library folder. And here we're going to look at the same folders, look at internet plugins. This is where, for example, Adobe Flash Player gets installed and Java gets installed. A lot of these are here by default. So don't go deleting an, a plugin just because you don't recognize it. Only delete a plugin if you're looking for a specific name and you see it on this list. And again, you'll want to copy and paste it to the desktop to have a backup of that file before you delete. So it's internet plugins. You'll also want to look up launch agents and see what's in here and launch daemons as well. See what's in here. This is where plugins and extensions are commonly installed on your computer. And looking in these locations oftentimes can help you weed out all of those nasty culprits. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Any questions for me, and I'll look over those. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more Mac-related content and how-to videos. Thanks, and I'll talk to you in the next one.